This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. The rise of Donald Trump has brought with it a cadre of goofs in the media sphere. Maybe I'm one of them. <laughs> Not necessarily on the Donald Trump team, if you haven't noticed. But there, there, there are. There, there are your, your Charlie Kirks and your, your people who are nobodies before Donald Trump. Again, still a nobody, but no one really knew who I was before that, for sure. But in the right, you've got people like Jesse Lee Peterson. The worst of, of the Jessies, uh, I think. <laughs> and um, he was he, given an interview, and he said some just bizarre things, being a black man, agreeing not only that white supremacy exists, but agreeing with the concept of white supremacy. Agreeing with the idea that whites are indeed superior to blacks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the clip, and then we'll talk about it, and then some other things he said that are just insane uh, on the other side. I used to think that when they used that word, white supremacy, it, it was a negative word, but now I realize what they're thinking is that, and, and it's true, by the way, that <laughs> that white men are smarter than them, superior to them. And, and instead of learning, oh, hey, how did you become so superior? They want to destroy it so that they won't be reminded how dumb they are. And so they're dumbing everybody and everything down rather than coming up to the level of white supremacy. <laughs> What? Not credible. Not a credible individual. Stupid, I would say. Like, really a cognitive, de a cognitive de deficit here with Jesse Lee Peterson. That it, it saying with his own flapping lips that white men, by the way, not women, white men are indeed smarter and superior to black people. This is dangerous. White supremacist nonsense. Not surprising though, coming from someone who, who called Nelson Mandela evil and that uh, South Africa was better under apartheid. Jesse Lee Peterson has said that. Jesse Lee Peterson uh, disagrees, thinks that it's wrong to have Muslims in elected office in the United States. I'm sure he's one of these idiots who believes that it's illegal to, to, to swear into office not having your hand on the Bible. Dumb, dumb territory here. Um, in, in 2005, after Katrina, when New Orleans was in shambles and people were having to uh, scramble to their roofs, hoping for rescue, Jesse Lee Peterson said that black folks in New Orleans, he chastised them for relying on the government to be saved, to have their very lives saved. And it wasn't just black folks who were getting saved by the government. But Jesse Lee Peterson took it upon himself to denigrate black people. Listen, uh, oftentimes you hear, well, well, he's a black guy. He can't be racist against himself. He can't be a white supremacist. This is evidence that you can. This is evidence that people like Candace Owens are not just working against their own self-interest uh, from an, an ethnic group, from a racial group. We're all the same. There is no race. But you can. Because they're on the grift. They are charlatans who are trying to make that money for themselves. And the interest of people who look like them be damned. Who cares, they say. Jesse Lee Peterson, one more thing. This isn't about uh, white supremacy. But Jesse Lee Peterson, who colors himself a pastor, or used to, said that women should not be allowed to vote 
that we should repeal the 19th Amendment. It should be illegal for women to vote because they're not patient enough or some other nonsense. Jesse Lee Peterson is a, as you can imagine, a virulent, dedicated sycophant, bootlicker of Donald Trump. Just nom, 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 nom. loves that Donald Trump boot polish. Loves it. Sickening. And it really does go to show just how depraved the messaging of MAGA world is. This anti-black, anti-gay, anti-woman. They go a, 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 a staggering distance to lift up white, straight men in America as the paragon of power. And it is disgusting to see a wretch like Jesse Lee Peterson take part in it in order that he enrich himself. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. You can call. Leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I appreciate your time and attention. Thanks for all the voicemails, all the emails, all the communication. If you'd like to support my work, if I am your flavor of political commentator, you can do so by becoming a channel member for $1.99 a month. You click the join button below this video. You can pick up shirts in support of um, this next weekend. My, my wife and podcast co-host, Brittany Page, and my team are going to be out at the Poor People's and Low Wage Workers Assembly and Moral March on Washington and to the polls on June 18th. I would invite you to come. But you can also support this channel and that movement by picking up one of these shirts. Fight the poverty, not the poor, or poverty is a public policy choice. I'll put a link in the description. Right at the top of the description, I'll put a link to the shirts. You can all, there's also all kinds of different merch. It's, there's stickers and bags and iPhone cases, all kinds of stuff that have these designs. Uh, you can also become a channel member. Buck 99, click the join button, become a channel member. Or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. I'd love to see you there. I'll see you next time. I love you guys so much. Thank you for engagement. Until next time, be genuine. Take care of one another.